No, I, I think at that time I still wanted, I liked the idea of me being a film star. I liked the, the visuals of films or how we can make someone look. I like that, that, that attracted, that I was attracted to that. And I think um, I like how um, it made me feel and it was exciting and just sort of um, the value we put on celebrities and fame and things, it seems to matter a lot to people. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I had a good family, I had friends, I, I wasn't, it was, you know, it's not a sad sob story, but it just definitely, you know, just feeling not, you know, you're not funny enough, you're not attractive enough, you're not this, it's just that feeling of not being good enough for people to want to notice you. And like I said, in school, I was just, I was just not there. It was literally just invisible. So um, yeah, I think the fame, ideal dream was something to aspire to, to sort of make people notice you or respect you. I think of my second year, definitely when I sort of started coming out of my shell, I had a very supportive singing teacher. And I think through song very early on, I sort of found, I mean, I didn't have the best voice, but it was definitely a comfortable thing. I find singing more comfortable than acting. Um, and she was very supportive, very calm person. And, you know, she just sort of took me under her wing and, you know, um, worked on songs and things. So the second year I really blossomed. And I think people took more notice. And again, it comes through people notices, you know, they are drawn to energetic person. I guess because when you just sort of struggling to find out where you belong. I, I, don't have, I didn't have a specific um, image of I'm going to be this or that. I just wanted to be successful and I just wanted to do something artistic and maybe something with films, I don't know.